Well, hello guys, how are you? Now I was talking to a guy this morning and he kind of said, Femons seem to move on a lot quicker than males. He means in relationships and such. And I said, yeah, of course they do. They don't have this deep feelings, this embedded connection that males have. In fact, they don't really have any real deep feelings for anybody except themselves. If they do show feelings towards a male, it's usually just for show. It's fake. Oh, they put a show on so if a husband dies, she'll go to his funeral and play the widow, and she'll give it the recognised time for a widow to mourn before she brings out the new man that she's already got way before. The times through my life I've seen femons who were married and lost their husbands through death, more they just split up, all of a sudden change very quickly. They lose weight. They change the clothes they're wearing. They change their hair. They pay more attention to themselves. They're looking for a man almost immediately, before the husband's even cold, just after she heard the door slam when the man left. And what I think is worse about Femon is they lie about it, especially when the husband dies. And I'd respect a Femon a lot more if they just tell the goddamn truth. There's most of them as cold as a fish. You guys out there probably have come across it in yourselves in your life. You know, that Femon that you spent a lot of time with, you were boyfriend and girlfriend. She says how lucky she was to meet you, and that you are the one and there'll never be another. You know the bullshit, don't you guys? But then you split up and all of a sudden she's with another man and probably telling him the same bunch of lies she told you. As many older men have said, if you want something loyal and reliable, get a dog. It's like that guy said, <laughs> you know, I used to be a werewolf, but I'm better now.